All right, this is a HP computer sent in from a customer to remove the BIOS password. It looks like the Windows is already uh, installed and there is no password in the Windows. Let's hold the power button. Then let's turn it on. We press F10. Yep, there is administrator password. So let's remove that password. The model number is a HP Elite Book X360 830G8. So we are going to need to flush this chip here. Is the U367. I will remove the fan because it's a plastic. Let's uh, remove that chip. That's the original BIOS. I just read the software from it and save it to the computer to do some modification to it, but I didn't flush or delete or do anything to this chip. More than just read it. This is another chip. I write the modification uh, software from this BIOS, the original BIOS. I write it here. So I always have this one is untouched. If anything happen, I can start over again with this, with this, in case if anything happened. So we're going to install this chip and hopefully the password is going to be gone. Yeah, this is the, the BIOS, so just be careful, there is a three resistors here. This resistor is a, is a low ohm, it's about like zero point something ohm. If you lost one, you can just do a jumper, solder bridge or something, it will work fine. It show one ohm, but some other readings, it show zero point something. Here, zero point zero something. So all of these three resistors is is a low ohm resistors. All right, let's install the chip. Okay, where is the pen number one? The pen number one is here. The dot is right there. Okay, the chip now is good. Yeah, I did put a low milk solder to be easy to solder uh, the chip without putting a lot of heat in the board. 
Voilà, on va mettre cette assiette. Alright, so the first boot, still the battery disconnected and still the CMOS battery is not connected. We can see the, the cops lock light is on, nothing on the screen, that's normal. And we see the power button is flashing. 